Welcome to What's the 4 one your smart source for urban, lifestyle, and entertainment news. I'm Kizzy Cop. I'm Onika McLean. Hey, guys. Hey. How are oh, you? what's up, my darling? I'm good. I'm good. good, good, good so, good. let's get started with some quick takes. Mm -hmm. And, according to the New York Times, Madonna lost her lawsuit <laughs> to stop the auction of extremely private and personally sensitive items. Mm -hmm. So, those items include, get this, breakup letter from her former boyfriend, Tupac, which we talked about that on the show. Um, a brush with strands of her hair and a pair of satin underwear. <laughs> the items are to be sold by a former friend of the pop star. So my question is, how did they get her underwear <laughs> and a letter? Yeah, I don't know. Like, did, 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 it seemed like it seemed like something that your old roommate would steal from you. Like little thing. You know, I don't know. Why would they do that? Yeah, that. But she's suing them for, which was so crazy. Like, why does she? I mean, for the Tupac letter, yeah, because that's like yeah. valuable because it's memorabilia, right? right. But your, panty, your old panties, Madonna, you can't fit them panties, Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> and your hair, well, maybe. Did she wear wigs and weaves? I don't know. I would want my hair back. I need my damn hair back. I understand. I'll sue somebody for my strands, too. Girl, you're hilarious. All right. Congratulations are in order. Yes, 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 yes. yes the yes. women of the real. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Emmy Award winners. That now. is amazing. Did you That's see the good. video when they were like coming off stage and they were like like all like no. discombobulated? They didn't even think that they were gonna win. They, it was just That's so amazing. It was just so amazing. We are up next, ladies. Yes, we are we up are. next. Yes. <laughs> So congratulations goes out to Steph Curry. Mm -hmm. So the NBA superstar signed a multi-development deal. So I guess he's going to be doing um, like pictures for Sony. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. The deal is, was reported by Variety. And um, it's supposed to be the biggest media deal ever. That is amazing of any athlete, right? Steph, that's that Steph Curry. He's smart. He's smart because there is a life outside of the NBA. Like, what's going to happen when you can't play ball anymore? But I think you a, have to have something else. A lot else of them to, are like, smart do. now. Like, right. I think that this whole new millennial generation is all entrepreneurial. Like, mm -hmm. it's really all about you know the startup, the I'm going to sell my lace, you know, whatever. <laughs> you said my lace front. Did you really say that? I see you still think about hair, Onika. All right. Well, I'm just saying. Yeah. Uh, so on to R. Kelly for. Lord. I don't see nothing wrong. I see everything wrong with this right now. So, uh-uh, uh-uh. He's canceled. He's canceled. We I can't know. even sing a song. The okay. Me Too movie says, shut up. Exactly. Did so, say, shut up? <laughs> so, R. Kelly has lost some key members of his team. Mm -hmm. So, Kelly's publicist, Trevion Cuddy, is the latest to jump ship. According to Jasmine Brand, Kelly's executive assistant, Diane Copeland, left her position in early May. She was working for him for ten years, so that's like you know. But that's not really that long. That's dealing that's, with his category, his his um. Yeah, his I mean, thing. yeah. It's what's it called? I want I yeah. want to say category because he no. takes it all, but it's catalog, is what it is. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And Kelly's lawyer Linda Mensch has also dropped R. Kelly as a client. Now, like you were saying, me too. So the Times Up movement, you know that whole like Hollywood women who started Oprah to war. like no more. Yes. So, Time's Up movement and the women of color specifically have come out and said we are backing the campaign to mute R. Kelly. So, they're not playing games. They wrote press release and it said in part, look, for too long, our community has ignored our pain. The pain we bear is a burden that too many women of color have had to bear for centuries. The wounds run deep. As women of color within Time's Up, we recognize that we have a responsibility to help right this wrong. So they're saying, you know what, we understand history and we're not trying to, you know, demonize anybody, you know, unnecessarily, but R. Kelly has a history of these allegations and we should investigate it. So they're calling on but people to... they didn't to, say just investigate, they said mute him. So how did that, how, what, well, I mean, he needs to be tried by his peers, Me Too movement, before we just cancel out someone's mm -hmm. income. Well, no, what they're saying is, they're saying, well, they're not. No one's really been doing it. Remember they did that, like... 15 years ago when mm -hmm. the whole P tape came out oh. and then they said it wasn't him or whatever, whatever nonsense so they said what they would like to see happen is for his RCA label to drop him for Ticketmaster to stop selling tickets to his shows and for Spotify and Apple to stop streaming his music so they really want to he, mute they him they canceled literally. his shows though he had they a are. couple of shows in the Midwest and in Atlanta a couple of places and, and they canceled his shows because I follow 
I uh, saw him on social media. Yeah, he was like, I don't know why, like, they're, canceling don't know why they're canceling my shows. So, you know, that, that movement is really powerful. I think I'm yeah. going to have to get on board. I, <laughs> Stop <laughs> singing. Stop singing this song. I, right. But I, I mean. No. Ooh, baby, mm. baby. No. Mm-mm. It's the remix to Ignition. No. Hot and Fresh. I'm no, the ca- no. Okay. No, mute. Mama rolling. Mute. Okay. <laughs> Guess who is home from jail? Guess who is home from jail? Oh. I heard yeah. he snitched on Bill Cosby. Meek Mill. Oh, Lord. Well, you crazy now. <laughs> <laughs> Social media erupted when they when he got out of jail, right? They say that secretly Jay-Z has something to do with it, but Kevin Hart took all the credit. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Hart was like, come on, we home, we uh, home, uh, uh, you know, uh, yo, yo, Kevin yo, Hart he, on social media, then no, he went to the see, 76ers, see, I'll leave the comedians up to you, he went to the 76ers game, like, like they, he got a jet from the jail, oh yeah, he and did, and then he, he went to the right. 76ers games, got, and now, I'm just saying, like, how long Meek been in jail, because I would have went to a hotel, <laughs> ain't no way in the world, I'd sit up there, with a hard on, and took him off, like, what, wow, oh, Nika, Lord, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, all right. So, yeah, <laughs> free Meek Mill. He free. He is free now. Uh, and, and Bill Cosby is not. No, he's not free at all. But, um, yeah, so singer and songwriter Halsey, who's bi- biracial. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah, bad. Uh-huh. You know that song, you know, Bad at Love, I'm Bad at Love? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she called out the hotels that she was staying in because she says, you know what? Every time I go there, there are no shampoos and conditioners designed for women of color. At all, really? you know what I mean? That's, and that's that's upsetting. What about the botanicals and all that stuff? I see. They don't. I don't. I don't see those. No. Oh, I have. Mm. So you know, she's making a good point. But the issue was, people were like, "Wait a minute! Wait a minute, Halsey! Look at you! You look white! Like, what are you talking about? What's the issue? Like, it, it doesn't even apply to you." That does not mean she can use that those products. You, you know exactly. So basically, people are policing her. Oh, her. Are we her talking about race. light skin and dark skin again? Are we Basically, not over that conversation? You know what I'm saying? But she okay. looked, you I'm know, her hair it. looks straight. We don't know if she straightened it. We don't know anything. So people are policing her and saying, well, you look white. So, so what are you talking mean? about? Okay. It's ridiculous. It, Halsey, thank you. Thank you for calling that out. Speaking of what America thought was ridiculous, right? Cardi B. Oh, right? Cardi B. Cardi, Cardi B, B is you know like. What I'm you know where I'll be. Honestly. Okay. <laughs> I just gotta sing that song. She's been hit with a lawsuit. What? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A $10 million lawsuit. They're saying for her manager, her manager, Kill Nord, Raphael. Mm hmm. Yeah, so, Nord, yeah. He's so breach of contract. But, I don't know, guys. But why? What, what breach of contract? Like, well, you know, old managers say I want 20%, or 10% of nothing is like not a lot of money. But then when you hit. The record numbers that Cardi is hitting, then I understand. The whole thing is, which I think, and I, I kind of agree with Cardi on this. She was like, you know what? I'm not paying you because you were ripping me off. Mm-hmm. So basically, like her attorney came out with a statement after this and said, wait a minute. How can you be? Him. Yeah. How mm-hmm. can you? You're supposed to be acting in the fiduciary. Excuse me. I hope I'm saying fiduciary. that right. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, you know, best interest of the client. How are you taking 20% commission, 50%? of her royalties from Atlantic Records, 50% of her copyrights, what? and 25% of her other earnings and saying that's somehow fair. So no, they're like, that's ridiculous. No, it's not about fair. It's about what she signed. Well, and I don't so know if that they she signed deem, that. If they deem that contract uh, valid, then she's going to owe that money. Well, that's I just hope. how that works. It's not about fair. It's about the legality that is, well, of she, it. I think that, I don't know if she signed it or whatever, but she's but saying that see. is ridiculous. We will watch it and we'll report back on we, this. I don't know. But. You don't think well, we you know, will? No, we will do okay. that. Of course, we'll follow up for you guys. We're not going anywhere yet because Janelle Monae's dropping bombs, y'all. Bombs. So, <laughs> after years of speculation, mm-hmm. Janelle Monae finally came out. Come, came out of where? As as pansexual. What's pansexual? Pansexual. You get to pan. <laughs> she fuck panhandlers. <laughs> What's that, that is a, terrible. That boom, 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 boom. What? Terrible. That was terrible. That's that was terrible. a bad joke. That's I'm a terrible sorry, joke. I'm sorry, I take that joke back. That's a terrible joke. But what's pansexual? So pansexual, yes. Yeah, so because I may be it. I mean, what is it? You are not alone. Because a lot of other people, like Marion Webster Online, had like searches for pansexual go through the roof after she came out. Because a lot of people don't know what that is. Basically, it means that you're attracted to people regardless of their gender or gender expression. So it could be male, female, trans. 
anything in between. She just loves humanity. So, hmm, so it's not so that. it's not bisexual because people were saying bisexual is just male or female, and she's like, I don't care about. She probably that. so it's probably more of a spiritual thing. You know, because people are attracted to energies. I think I'm pansexual then. But then... You're not no pansexual. How do you know? You're not no pansexual. The way you... The way I be running around talking about... <laughs> right, right, and yeah, I'm do. Exactly. No, I'm I like, mean, oh, no. Th- that's the spirit animal <laughs> this, of those of The those spirit people. of dick? Okay, never mind. It's, it's a spirit. <laughs> I can't even believe I got you being crazy. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, girl. <laughs> the one time. The one time. <laughs> the one time. Ooh, help me, Jesus. It's the spirit of the person. Okay. <laughs> of the people. <laughs> Spirituality. But yes, yeah, so yes. Yeah, so congratulations to Janelle Monet for being free. As I just like the way she came out. That's right. You know what? You do it the way you want. You're an artist. And it was just like, the video was just like so like yeah, free. Feel. And and I think it's just more spiritual than anything. And I think I am a pansexual I mean, I may be, guys. You tell me. What's pan? Whatever. Kizzy, don't judge me. (laughs) (laughs) But I have the Me Too movement. Mute your ass. Me? I don't even talk. Welcome back to What's the 411. Now we have stories that are popping. And, I mean, this has been, we've been covering this guy for a while. Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. So a Pennsylvania jury found him guilty. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Andrea Constan, right? Oh yes. my god. So yes. this is the, so he so this is this is a story, guys. Um he took a deposition. Mr. Cosby took a de- deposition where he said that he gave women quaaludes. Mm-hmm. And to and if they did not say no, then mm-hmm. it was a implied as yes yeah and, exactly and, and um yeah damn because you <laughs> know i've been rolling with him for a long 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 time and you know because it just he just my father in my head and i'm like he couldn't have raped oh. all those women because the office was right downstairs and none of the ladies <laughs> is pregnant but then i get Yo, it <laughs> oh, nigga, you going on the okay i get it but it, it yeah no dog. it's it's very mm. it's tough i mean it's tough it's very tough because a lot of people are like yes like you said he's done so much for the community a, of course, we all know, grew up with, you know, Cosby Show and everything. He's a dad. But, yeah. For, kid, like, for I mean, a lot of kids that did not have children. A dad. Had a dad right? Yeah, like Mike, me, for example. So it was, you know, really heartbreaking in that sense. And also, you know, giving out those scholarships and, you know, all of those things and all the philanthropy and stuff and trying to square that person with the person he was, you know, when nobody was looking is really... It's really sad. It's really sad all the way around. And I, we were talking about it but before. Good people make mistakes. And I said, know, like, oh. I know, I know. Listen. I know. But I'm, I'm just saying, just look at people as a whole person. You're not all good or all bad. Oh, of course. I, but, but I think that's the problem, too. Like, right? We tend to, you know, um, put our, you know, celebrities on a pedestal. Anybody mm-hmm. that we, you know, love or like or whatever, we're like, they're so great. And you know what? They're just human beings. They are human and, beings. And, right. uh, yeah. So he obviously did not like how that jury uh, decision came about and at the end of it you know he started kind of cursing mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. America's dad uh, yeah a lot of people are still saying he was railroaded and you know how could they do this to him and what right. about Harvey Weinstein and I'm like Harvey Weinstein not for nothing he has cases pending they are still the, D- the DA in Los Angeles and a DA here in New York are still looking into cases and they are looking to bring charges so there's, I believe, there are two happening in New York here, and there's one in L.A. that they're still looking into, and it's looking like they're going to bring But most of those guys did not do a deposition, because with Bill Cosby, there was no DNA evidence that was, put, like, I But it was his own words. Right. You see, that's what you said. Like, one of the jurors actually said, you know what, it wasn't even Andrea Constan, because he said there were some inconsistencies in what she said, but... They, he said what really convinced him was that Bill Cosby himself admitted to giving women quaaludes in order to have sex with them. But and he like didn't say in order. Consent. He just, it wasn't oh, well, in order. It, it wasn't it was in a order. Part of the, it, was a, it was part of the exchange. You know what I mean? Right. They were partying and all that stuff. But, but it, like, like, no matter how I try to justify it, it seemed like I'm trying to justify it, which I am not because right. sexual assault is wrong. Sexual assault is wrong. Absolutely, so, absolutely. So, but there's just so many of them that that they're getting fired. But I, I don't know anybody that's really going 
to, to court, you know. Well, no, I mean Russell Simmons got off. We'll we'll see what but happens with Harvey. Not, no, Harvey Weinstein win. is not getting. Harvey Weinstein is not getting off. I'm telling you, like he's it's pushing like hundreds of women. You know what I mean? Who've come yeah. forward and said he's not getting off. Mm -hmm. One of those cases are going to be brought to mm -hmm. trial, and we'll see what happens. The outcome of that. Yeah. You, so it's a lot of stuff going on. It's a lot of stuff going on. Poor, 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 poor Mr. West is in the building. Kanye West. I don't said, know. What's Kanye going on West with has Kanye. been sunk. Straight to the floor. What is it, T? What? Kanye West. Let me tell my story, kids, Kizzy. So Kanye West, after a long hiatus from social media, he embarked on a a plethora of freaking Trump supporting tweets, and the world went crazy. Right. So now, like, they, like he has he has an interview with Charlemagne the God. Like he, they they have him on TMZ. They are just following Kanye like crazy. And what he's saying is craziness. Uh, he and uh, Trump have a a, 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 a dragon, dragon. They have spirit, dragon, a dragon energy. Dragon energy, right? And that he supports Trump. And you know his mother wouldn't agree with it, but he can disagree with the re views of his mom. Is what I'm hearing him say. And um. He can have his own opinion. Like, come on, guys. When we, when, I mean, uh -uh. He, Kanye, See, okay, I'm going Kanye, in now. Kanye, no, because <laughs> Kanye is representing who he is at this point, which is a very, very, very rich man, right? And that's right. who, and that's, and right. that's who I'm glad Donald you said Trump that. is, I'm glad is, you said is that. representing. Like, that's what it on. is. That's what it is. I think that he has become rich. Like, you know, when he started out, he was still humble. He was still, you know, not quite making as much money. And so he was more connected to what was real. Right. And I think now you become ensconced in all of this money and all this fame and the Kardashians and all that stuff. You lose sight of what's real. Like, it's not about... Cause originally, so is it Kanye's ori fault? No. And, no. Originally, Chance the Rapper was trying to even, you know, go out and how do you... You know, yeah. He was trying yeah. to defend Kanye. And say, yeah, Who you know, not was J. Cole. J. Cole, like, remember we reported yeah. that song with yeah. J. Cole? Like, but he was J. Right. Cole's been like, like, you would never do what you used to do, and I don't understand you allowed um, Hollywood to blind you. Basically. It's crazy. No, right. Chance was saying, oh, you know what? Everybody does not need to be a, a Democrat. Mm -hmm. But that's not what he's saying. People are saying, yeah, you can be a Republican. There's plenty of people who are Republican or conservative. But what the person that you are supporting is somebody who has a proven history of racism whether you but, want to but call Donald him Trump was what friends you, with all of those rappers before but, but listen this, what this about presidency. what about Central Park 5 what about calling for the death penalty for them even though they were exonerated this was like after he already I, started running for but, president but, but, but and then, he was still trying to we, throw them under the but bus but then we say everyone has to be woke a lot of people when they make these statements especially on social media uh, celebrities included don't mm -hmm. have the full story you know, they just kind of like, I'm not saying that Kanye doesn't at this point, but I'm saying back when, back before, you know, Trump became Trump. No, the, the thing is, well, this is what Kanye said today. Because, you know, he has a lot going on. Like you said, he was on Charlotte no, the God everyone. TMZ. He said, you know what, at that time, I was on opioids. I had an opioid or addiction. Mm -hmm. And because he went to get liposuction and all that stuff. And then he had that addiction. So he was out of his mind at the end of November 2016. That's okay. what he said. So he said, when I was on Twitter and I was saying all that crazy stuff, you know, I was I was on drugs. I but was he's, crazy. But he may be on drugs right now. He not, he's saying he's not on drugs right now. Right, and he said, like, the a drug late, person that's addicted to drugs say they're not on drugs right now. The latest thing. But the, it's erratic behavior, Kizzy, is what I'm saying. It, it, it's, it's erratic behavior, but I don't know that he's crazy as much as he's just, I don't know whether he's doing it for attention. I don't know whether he's trying to be a contrarian where he's just saying, oh, everybody's saying A, so I'm going to say B. Actually, to actually, actually be like actually some type probably of. Actually, because of the black or, vote. Oh, we all have a mind, same one mind. I mean, I get it. Like, I, I support contrary opinions. And I, don't, sometimes, I don't support I, that. And sometimes I do devil advocate, devil's advocate just so that you can see the, the other side I'm of such it. a Libra. But look. I this, am a Libra. This is what he said. The yeah, album Aquarius. I'm like, mm -mm, it's right and wrong. No, so, no, they are shades of gray. No, this is like shades of gray. Let's hear the, the gray shadiness that he put out today. What he said was, 400 years of slavery. That sounds like a choice to me. You mean to tell me you had all those people in slavery and that was not a choice? Okay, that that is not a person on drugs. That's <laughs> all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? The mental illness. This is mental health month. We need to get. Kanye out the sunken place and put his ass in a mental institution. That's what I'm saying. So he could get detoxed. He That's just all. sound crazy. No, 
but, but watch no, yourself. This, no, 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 no. So this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. While we're focused on Kanye, I think it's some black boys getting shot somewhere. I'm just telling you, because this is trivial, right? You know? At the end of the day, you know what it is, but it also isn't because he has such a big platform. And it's like... No, it, but it, it's, it, nobody's like, you. Kanye's right. Some I'm people are actually saying, you know what, slavery was a choice. And I'm like, that is so damaging. You know why? Because the very people who would look to oppress the black community and say, oh, you guys need to just pull yourself up from the bootstraps. Look, Kanye said it was a choice. You know, they were benevolent so slave because masters. Because Kanye said it, and then they agree but with they it. They would agree with it even if Kanye said it or not. That's the, all I'm saying. I'm saying, but they're using Kanye as a tool. They're using, okay. because he's a black man and he has that platform well, as a like, tool right, to right. do that. And I'm like, I'm you're ridiculous fifth, I'm, I to think, do this. But I, I'm Kanye, walking down, I'm walking down Fifth Avenue and the Trump supporters are outside. You know, we got to help the president. So then the guy says, what do you think about Trump? To me, Right, and I'm like, he's wonderful. The guy's like, come, can we talk to you for the hell? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> but come on, like, yeah, we're responsible for our work. Yeah, I, Kanye, okay. you need to do better, please. Thank you. He's so he's sick. I don't know that he is though. Well, if he's just trying to, you know, play games, no, and it's, it's not, not going to sell more records. It's not okay. So <laughs> we'll be back. Welcome back to What's the 411, and now we have some funny business in this pot today. Funny. funny, funny black girl magic in this pot today. We have curry <laughs> and black beans. <laughs> oh, red beans, but anyway. Red, only red beans? Oh, red Lord. beans. Time for beans. Caribbean cook up. Yes. <laughs> and so, like she said, yes, we I'm have gonna some. Speak. I'm going to speak in an accent the whole time. Do today. not. Do not. Yes, I no. am. No. Yes. No. You're not good at it. No. <laughs> What's ch -ch -ch? I don't know what you're doing. Okay, come on. There is Caribbean down. girl magic yes. today. Ch -ch -ch. <laughs> what is she doing? All right, so. <laughs> Caribbean American and Brooklyn native Carrie Cadet yes, has become Yes, Carrie. Yes. Congratulations. Yes, yeah, she's also a comedian, so mm. you know that explains her she's response. Dope. She's so dope. She's so dope. Well, yeah, she's become the only black woman on an eight person writing team for this new show on HBO called Wyatt Snacks Problem Areas. Mm -hmm. And the entire like 10 episodes of this season is going to be about police brutality. Oh, so yeah. it's really supposed to, you she's, know, be she's talking about She's very much an activist. Very much. Right. So mm -hmm. um, Cadet said the show topic appeal to her because she sees herself not only as a writer and a comedian, but also a bit of an activist. So she said um, in an interview with Caribbean Life, uh, quote, to be part of a late night show now, it's nuts. And it's my destiny. Nice. And she said, even back when, you know, SNL, you know, like five years ago or so, when they had like no black women, mm -hmm. she wrote a whole op-ed in, in the Atlantic, like calling them to task, like, you guys need to do better. Mm -hmm. And they actually called her in mm -hmm. to audition really? for SNL. And she, mm -hmm. didn't, she didn't get in, but now she's got a better gig because she's a writer on this new show. Mm -hmm. So she says, the sky is the limit. I hope to have my own show, whether it's late night or not. And it's just an exciting time for black people and a resurgence. And I feel like we're finally getting our due and taking our due. So congratulations. Congratulations. To congratulations. Her. Mm -hmm. So do you think this is gonna lead to like more women writers and more thing, you know, black shows and yeah. black people working well, behind I mean, the scenes? What right? What do you do? You hire people that's most close to you, right? Who you trust right. or whatever. So she has a real big black girl magic network. So if I, if she if that young lady has anything to do with it, it will be. Yay, congratulations, Carrie. So, you know, so much is happening in the world. We need some motivation. So we'd like to bring you a motivational quote. And that quote is was posted by Denise Hurley, and it is, Life is so ironic. It takes sadness to know what happiness is, noise to appreciate silence, and absence to value presence. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for that, Denise. Now we have a story. Uh, we're pulling somebody on the carpet. Yes, we're right? bringing we're it back. Institution on the carpet. And, um, you know, Meek Mills is home now. And uh, that's exciting for all of Philadelphia. It, it, it and, uh, and some young black men in America. Right. But, like, how he got there. 
we want to talk about that a little bit. And so, Kizzy, take it away. Yeah. So, you know, I, <laughs> it's really ridiculous. Like, the probation system in this country is really unjust. Right. So, you know, back when he was 19, Meek Mill, you know, got taken in on, you know, he had some possession charges. Um, he had simple assault and, you know, he got hit with some time, spent the time, got out. And now he's been on probation for nearly 11 years. What sense does that make? A, he's an artist, so he's supposed to be able to travel as part of his job. And so when you have somebody who's put so much onerous probation on this person, it means that he cannot get... It's a new slavery. You, you cannot get out. You know what I mean? A lot of people who don't have Meat Mill's money or fame, they're rotting they in jail. Them. You know what I mean? Like, there was even a story of a woman who needed to move out. You know, a young woman, you know, she had gone in for uh, drunk driving. It was her first and only offense. You know, they gave her like a year, and then, you know, she got, you know, probation. She goes on probation, and she says to the judge, listen, I have to move. But they didn't, she didn't get permission. She was just like, I have to move in 72 hours because they're like evicting me or some, something crazy or mice or something. And they denied her. But she had to move because they, you know, she had to get out because they were evicting her and, you know, they threw her back in jail. So, I mean, it's just, it's stuff like that where it's like, we really need to take a hard look at the probation system because it hits people of color. It hits people who are poor the hardest. You know, we see, you know, Meat Mill is just one example but luckily, he had the money and influence to get out. So we need to do better with our criminal justice system in general. So probation system, I'm calling you on the carpet this week. And our photo of the week is uh, Meek Mill. This, that's the theme for the show today. <laughs> All the guys from Philadelphia uh, coming home. The average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. At highway speeds, that's enough time to travel the length of a football field. Stop the texts. Stop the wrecks. Onika, can you believe it? This show is over. It always goes so fast. I, I can never believe that it's over, but it is. That's going to do it for this week's edition of What's the 4 and one your smart source for urban lifestyle and entertainment news. Until next week, check out our website, www.whatstheforeonneone.com. And remember to hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, What's the 4 and one TV. That's important. And subscribe. what about our podcast? Yes. Stitcher, tune in, um, our Google Play Music, and uh, where else? <laughs> <laughs> Google Play Music, Stitcher, oh, right. and, and, in. and you can be on our YouTube and just listen in, right? Well, we, we, <laughs> we got that too. Yes, so, you know, hit us up on all of our social media channels. Please do that so we can win that Emmy, y'all. Come on. Yes, it's time for the Emmy. It's yes. time for the Emmy. It's time for the Emmy. <laughs> it is. I'm Kizzy Cox, and on behalf of my co-host, Anika McLean, thank you for spending your time at What's the 4 and one We'll see you next time. 411 who's got the 411 411 they got the 411 who's got the 411 we got the 411 what's 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 the 